You are watching this video because you are getting Samsung free and you would like to shut it off. I can show you how. Samsung free is part of the new Android update. And if you swipe your screen to the left, you, all of a sudden you get this screen. And it's like every time, now I got to get out of it by pushing the bottom right button to back out of it instead of just swiping to my various screens. So first of all, that's annoying. And now I have to agree to all these terms of use, which you should read through to see what information they're getting on you and uh, how you're using it. Apparently, Samsung Free is an app that came with your newest update to your Android device. It uh, replaces Samsung Daily, and which I didn't use. I don't need my phone throwing news at me. There's enough bad news in the world, and half of it, well, not even half of it, more than half of it is not trustworthy. I mean, I don't know what these sources are. I don't want it putting it up in front of my face on the screen. So, and, and I... I seek out information from valid sources rather than having news thrown at me from unknown sources. So to me, it looks like Samsung Free is probably a little better than Samsung Daily because it's not just news. Um, I haven't tried it, so I'm not going to review it. I'm just going to show you how you can shut it off. And I do want to know in the comments from you if you use it, if you like it. Apparently, it has other entertainment and games and movies most of which I don't have time for. But you get this screen and you want to shut it off. And there's nowhere in here to stop it. Well, I figured it out today. You find an open space in your screen and push and hold in that open space. You get these options. Now you can see your, your pages. And you can see what apps you have. And if you go all the way to the left, look at that. Up on the top in the blue you can turn it off. That's cool. And it doesn't go away. So if you change your mind later, um, I'm happy with that. So now when I scroll around, I don't get that annoying page anymore. Until such time, I can actually take time to look at it and see if it's something that I want. But one thing that bothers me about smartphones is that they make assumptions and jump things in front of your face that you may not want. And I just, I don't know. This has... TV shows and entertainment and games, none of which I use my um, my phone device for. I use this device for strictly for YouTube's. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, YouTube. This is where it's at. This is where I like to be entertained and educated. And um, so this is uh, an option. You can also do other things. Did you know that there's some cool things in here like the themes and... Uh, widgets things like temperatures and clocks and there's really some cool things in here in your screen if you've never been in there then i recommend you just press in empty space and hold if, you, if it doesn't work try it again see i moved it a little bit on the first one see if, if it goes like that you're not going to get it so press and hold in the empty space where an icon would be and then scroll to the left and you can turn samsung free on or off. I do think so far already it's better than Samsung Daily because it's not just news. But there you have it. Um, please write comments in the reviews below, or I mean in the box below, and tell me what your experience is with this Samsung Free and if you like it and what things that you are concerned with, if anything. Maybe it's a really good app. Who knows? I'm not here to rate it or review it. I'm just here to show you how you can Take control of your phone and turn that app on or off until such time that you want to go turn it back on and read through all of the user uh, agreements that you're agreeing to before you let that uh, app, just like any app, before you let that app see everything you do and report it to other uh, parties. All right, there you have it. Thanks for watching Frosty Life.